We've known each other since middle school, and we reconnected for this. And uh, I learned a lot about the cosplay of Yaki Tribe from him, and the title of this piece, Yo Me, meaning I Am, which is also the title of the language for the cosplay Yaki Tribe. And he's going to share the story with us. Joseph Ginabo, Yo Me, Augustine. It's been greetings, so my name is Augustine. And Charles, you know, we try to be a friend, you know, each other about 11 years or so. And you know, he came to me and told me, bro, I wrote these songs long like, um, ago, and based on my heritage, which he told me tonight to come and explain, you know, give some insight to each of these songs, you know, what it meant from him at the time. And I'm going to start, like, to show you all, and tell you this. One of my favorite stories is about turtle, and they're my favorite animals. And, and I, I you know turtle, they say turtle were the, the first thing for them to be created by the creator, because turtles, they live long, they see things. And one time he was with the creator, and it was, he witnessed how the earth made, how people came to be, and how certain people divided with each other and, and became new, different people. And one day he got tired and decided, you know, like, why can't I be out there with them, explore, you know, see around. I've seen, witnessed things, but I haven't experienced, I haven't talked to anyone. You know, I'm here watching them. And the said, no, your job is here to watch. And so he, they, when he decided to, to go down in earth and just escape, and therefore he traveled and talked to numerous of people, type of people, teaching them where they came from or what plants, he, he witnessed a lot of things. With that, he told stories. The stories now today can be, can be appeared through music, dance, or written, because it's all stories, basically. Just because you can't hear the story, you can see a story, but sometimes the movement is how the story, not the music. And hopefully, Parable has plenty of stories, in which the first one is called Kabada, which means means parasol, no three split. And with this, um, this is a desert plant. It, it, it looks it looks dead, but it is alive. And when rain hits it or you breathe on it, it has that little fresh nutrient smell, you know. And it shows that it, even though it's hidden, it's still alive and it has the rich. And it tells you the valley in the desert, you know. It's full of life, it's rich, it's just hidden. And the second one called so, Sewa, which means, which means um, the Sarawak cactus, which people in this region, they believe that um, they descended from them. And people in the region, they also said that, you know, as the Sarawak are, they keep going up north, they disappear. And it, and it kind of tells you that how people in this region, that's how far they explore which is to the, in the area. And with that, you know, they, they, hurt, they see, they nurture, they protect, when they feed us, they protect the animals that live inside them. And the third one is called Meche, Meche Ed no Asi, which means half moon. And with that, usually the moon sets a different light towards life. And it sheds something new you don't see every day in the sunlight. You know, just because everyone's sleeping doesn't mean it's life out there at night. It's not kernels and plants that thrive at night. It kind of sets a different mood towards how we live. You know, and with that, hope you guys enjoy the song and hopefully have a story and kind of connect with those songs. Thank you.